Amanda here. Today we are going to be doing a beginner level workout with only using a sturdy chair and a towel for our resistance. So let's just start out with a nice easy march here. We're going to get warmed up. In your march, try to set your shoulder blades back so your chest is lifted and try to keep your head and chin back, just warming up through the entire body here before we go into our resistance training moves. We're going to be moving slowly through a series of exercises that will both strengthen, improve mobility, and get your heart rate up. All right, let's take this into a heel tap with a chest opener. We're pulling our shoulder blades back and together as we tap the heel side to side. Breathing through this. You got it. Let's do two more. And we're gonna take it into an overhead reach. We're tapping the toe out to the side, reaching up, stretching through the upper back and the shoulders. Nice and easy here, getting warm through that upper body. <sighs> Breathing through it. <sighs> You've got this. Two more here. And let's take it back to our march. We're gonna roll the shoulder blades back pulling the shoulder blades back and down, full range of motion here, and shake it out. We're going to take this into our first round. We're going to start out with our towel. So using an old beach towel here, we can adjust our hand position to the width that we need to go into a standing row. So in an overhand grip, we're going to go just outside of our thighs, feet shoulder width apart, roll your shoulder blades back and down, and let's lift up to chest height. From here, we're going to exhale, row, pulling inward until the chest, until the towel touches the chest, and the elbows are traveling just slightly down, so they're angled just slightly downward on that row, squeezing through the shoulder blades. Let's go for eight reps here, ready? Here we go, exhale the row in, pull, pause to squeeze the shoulder blades, and back out, exhale. Inhale, you've got it. Squeeze through the mid back and shoulders, keeping tension on the towel on that pull in. But if your grip needs a little bit of a break, go ahead and loosen your grip on the push back out. We've got two more here. Exhale. One more. And shake out that upper back. Up next, we're going to take this into what's called shoulder circumduction. Our shoulders can make tiny circles. So from here, we're gonna get our heart rates up by marching. Palms are facing out. Let's make tiny circles here, pushing and pulling. So we're pulling our shoulder blades back and together, squeezing. We're going for 15 seconds here. Try to keep tension on through the shoulders. Breathe through it. Almost there. Three, two, one. Shake out those shoulders here. Up next, we're going to take it into what's called an Arnold press. So this is going to be a body weight version. We're going to start with our palms facing in with our upper arm parallel to the floor. We're standing tall, setting the shoulder blades back and down. From here, we're going to pull back to squeeze through the shoulder blades, push up into a press, pull down, and then push back out into that rotation. Let's get ready to go for eight here. Standing tall, lift your chest, set your shoulder blades back. Here we go. Pull, press, pull, rotate. That's it, pull, press, down, rotate. Keep this pace up. Once again, try not to let your head come forward. We're keeping the chin and neck in a neutral position, working through that upper body, keeping tension on the shoulders and the upper back. You gotta keep breathing. Two more here. Pull, push, lower, rotate. Pull, push, lower, rotate. Shake out those shoulders here. We're gonna take this to a seated position. So for this, I'm gonna be seated around the edge of my chair. This is going to allow me to scoot forward so that I can keep my back flat. So from here, my feet are fairly narrow, just a couple inches between my feet, and I'm gonna fold forward so I'm feeling my lower back already kicking in. That's helping to stabilize. We're gonna have our palms facing in. So right now they're just next to my shins. 
And the goal here is not to round through the back. We want to push the chest out. So right away, you should feel those postural muscles kicking in. We are going to lift up in a T, squeeze the shoulder blades and back down. Let's go for eight. Exhale, inhale. That's it. Exhale. Remember, keep your chest pushed out. That forward fold is simply to allow gravity to act on the shoulders as we raise. But the goal here is always to keep the back flat. So if you find that you're struggling a little bit with that forward fold, you can always do this in an upright position. Two more, exhale, <sighs> inhale. Make sure you're getting that squeeze through the shoulders and shake it out. Let's go back to standing. Second round here, back to our rows. Grab your towel, over hand grip, hands just outside of thigh width apart. Feet shoulder width apart here, set the shoulder blades back and raise your hands up so they're at chest height. Let's row inward. Here we go for eight. Squeeze, eight. Keeping tension on the towel, on that pull in. You're always pulling outward as you squeeze through the mid back and shoulders. You've got it. Pull. Three more. You can do this. Three. Exhale. Two, one more here, and one. All right, let's shake it out. Lower that towel down. From here, we're gonna take it back to our marching shoulder circumduction. So let's start with that march. Place your hands in a T position, pulling the shoulder blades back so there's tension on. Let's make those tiny circles. Here we go. 15 seconds on the clock. This is a chance to get your heart rate up, but also strengthen through the shoulders and focus on posture in those tiny circles. You've got this. Keep breathing, almost there. Three, two, one. Shake out the shoulders here. We're gonna take it back into our Arnold press. Feet, shoulder width apart. Start with the upper arms parallel to the floor, palms facing in, and then roll your shoulder blades back and down so the chest is lifted. Let's go out, press it up, down, back in, that's it. Pull, push down, back in. Keep this going. We're going for eight reps. Really focusing on the upper back and shoulders here. Really getting that squeeze every rep. I want you to pull so there's tension on. Keep this going. Make sure you're not holding your breath at any point in these movements. Exhale on that pull toward you. Squeeze it back. One more. Push down back in and shake it out. We're back to our seated position, sitting on the edge of the chair. Walk your feet out. So the feet are in a fairly narrow position here. Fold forward. Palms are facing in toward the, toward the shins. Set the shoulder blades back so you're pushing your chest out, keeping a back flat. And let's lift up into our T. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull. That's it, really getting that squeeze at the top of the movement here. Once again, try to keep the neck in a neutral position, focusing on posture, the chest is pushed out. We're not rounding through that upper back at any point in this movement. Two more here, one more, squeeze and lower it down. Grab a water break here and I will demo our next round. So up next, we're gonna take this into another towel move. This one is a straight arm pullback. So from here, it takes a little bit of shoulder mobility. I'm gonna have my palm facing out behind me. And once again, I'm just outside of my thigh width. Feet shoulder width apart, roll the shoulder blades back and stand tall so the chest is lifted. From here, I'm gonna keep the towel taut. So I'm pulling outward and lifting up, raising behind me to squeeze through the mid back. So inhale on the lower, exhale on the raise. All right, let's go for eight. Remember, shoulder blades back and down, soft knees, chest lifted. Here we go. Eight, breathing through it. Exhale up. Seven, squeezing through the mid back. Six, this is, I think, my favorite towel exercise. It really strengthens all the muscles in the back that can be weakened by sitting at a desk all day. One more and lower it down. We can set the towel down. From here, we're gonna take this into another shoulder move. So 
So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of room. My ceiling is low right here. So feet shoulder width apart, just a slight bend in the knees when the knees are soft. From here, I'm gonna tuck my elbows in nice and tight and roll the shoulder blades so I'm pulling them back and down. From here, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm gonna pivot, turning and extending. So we're stretching through the lat on the right side and then we're going to turn and pivot. So you can have your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider, whatever feels right for your pivot position. Tuck those elbows in, roll the shoulder blades back. We're gonna start with that right arm twisting over to the left side. Here we go. Lift up, extend, press, bring it down. Try to reach other side, your fingertips up as high as you can, switching side to side, exhale, inhale. That's it. Breathing through this, pivoting on that toe, we're stretching through the upper back and twisting through the core. Let's go for four more. Four. Breathe through it. Three. Keep this up. Big stretch. Two. And one. All right, shake it out. We're going to take this back into another strength move. So we're going into a press out. Now for this one, feet shoulder width apart. If you are not a fan of push-ups, this is a great way to work your chest muscles, but in a standing position that's a little easier on the wrists. So place your palms together with your elbows pointing down, slightly downward, set the shoulder blades back and press the palms inward. So there's tension on the palms. From here, we're going to push out, keeping tension on, and then pull back in. Let's go for eight reps. Here we go, exhale, <sighs> inhale. Try to keep tension on this movement as long as you can. So if you need to loosen your press at any point, go ahead and give yourself a break. However, we're trying to keep tension on the pecs in the push and in the pull. Three more, exhale, <sighs> inhale, two more. <sighs> Breathing through it, one more here, <sighs> and shake it out. We're gonna take it back to a seated position in the chair. So once again, we are going to sit toward the edge of the seat, sitting up nice and tall right away. You should feel those postural muscles in the shoulders and the back kicking in to lift that chest up nice and high. From here, we're going to start with our palms angled out in front. So right now, my hands are about forehead height. From here, I'm going to rotate into a wide position, pulling my shoulder blades back, squeezing, and then back in. Let's go for eight reps. Ready? Here we go. Exhale, pull. <sighs> Inhale, back to the middle. Exhale. <sighs> Focus on your posture in your seated position. Try to keep your chest lifted and your core strong so those abs are pulled in. Breathe through this. Exhale. <sighs> Two more here. Rotating. <sighs> One left and lower it down, shake it out. We're back to the top here with our straight arm pullbacks. Grab your towel, place it behind your lower back. From here, palms are up and facing out away from you. Gentle bend in the knees, set your shoulder blades back, keep your chin in a neutral position. Let's raise up for eight, here we go. Tension on the towel, eight. Lower it down, exhale, seven. Breathe through this. Six, really squeezing through the mid back and shoulders. You can do it. Exhale on the raise up. Three more. Two left. One more here. You can do this. And lower your towel down. Let's take this into our twisting shoulder press. So feet shoulder width or just slightly wider, whatever feels comfortable for you. Tuck those elbows in, roll the shoulder blades back. Let's start with our right hand. We're pivoting over to the left side. Here we go. Press it up. We're going for 12 here. Six on each side. Pivot through that toe. Reach and twist through the core. Oftentimes, twisting movements and rotational movements of the core are overlooked in typical weight training programs. But it is so important to make sure that you're including twisting exercises because so many of our day-to-day -day movements include twisting while we have resistance. Two left and shake it out. 
Let's take this into our standing press out. Feet shoulder width apart, palm facing in, set your shoulder blades back, tension on those palms. Here we go, exhale, press. Eight, breathe through it. Seven, squeezing. Six, you got this. Five, keep pressing in, you can do it. Four, three, almost there. Two, exhale on the press out. One, and shake it out. Let's take it back to our seated position. We're gonna go into our rotational Y. So once again, sitting up nice and tall, chest is lifted, you should feel those postural muscles already kicking in. Raise your hands up so they're about forehead height, palms facing in, and let's rotate out. Here we go. Eight, getting that shoulder blade, squeeze on the pullback. Exhale, breathing through it. And with this exercise, it might feel like your head wants to bob forward or that your torso wants to lean forward on that pullback. Try to keep your head and chin in a neutral position. One more. And shake it out. Grab a water break and we'll go to our last round. Up next, we are gonna take this into a hamstring and glute exercise using the towel. And this move is called a deadlift. So we're going to have an underhand grip. And this grip, my pinky fingers are just outside of my thighs. And we're gonna keep tension on the towel. We're gonna to try to keep tension on through the entire move. Feet shoulder width apart. Now the basic move here is to slide the towel down the front of the legs while pressing the heels into the floor. But the key here is to keep your chest pushed out. So when you're at the bottom of the movement here, you're going to feel a stretch in the hamstrings. You're gonna feel the glutes kicking in and the lower back. And then we're going to return back to an upright position. So the goal here is to always keep that chest pushed out. So the towel is going to help us do that. Get that underhand grip, once again, just outside of shoulder width apart. Set your shoulder blades back and down. So right now we're pulling, there's tension on the towel, and we can feel our shoulder blades pulling the towel taut. From here, keep that towel really close to your thighs. Let's slide down. We're gonna come down. If you feel just enough of a stretch here at the knees, you can come back up. If you can go all the way down to the mid shin, that's okay too. Push the chest out. Go as low as you feel comfortable to get that stretch in the hamstring, to press your heels into the floor so that you're really lengthening through the back of the thigh. Keep tension on the towel the entire time. You should feel that shoulder blade retraction here. That's the pull back of the shoulder blades. Two more. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Squeeze in those shoulders and whew, shake it out. Let's place our towel down. We're gonna take this into another marching move. We're gonna march it out. We're gonna have our palms extended outward and facing in. We're gonna take this into a push and a pull. Let's go for 15 seconds. Here we go, push, pull, push, pull. That's it, getting that heart rate up. Once again, keep that head and chin in a neutral position. Squeeze, breathing through it. Two more and shake it out. Lastly, we're gonna take this into a seated cat-cow. So we are gonna sit on the edge of the chair once again. And a cat-cow is a modified yoga position. So typically this would be done kneeling on a mat. However, the seated version is a little easier on the knees. Feet flat on the floor, feet shoulder width apart. From here, we're going to place our hands just behind the ears. From here, I'm going to tuck inward. So I'm pulling my elbows in and rounding through the back. And then I'm going to exhale and lift. So I'm actually pulling my elbows back and slightly arching through the mid back. So let's get ready, tuck in, inhale, exhale, lift and extend. Pulling those elbows back, tuck in, exhale. Breathing through this, keep going through that range of motion, squeezing those shoulder blades back and down, pulling with the elbows, tuck, and let your
yourself tuck a little bit more than what you would consider neutral. You're tucking in. That's it. Two more here. Tuck in. Extend out. One more. Tuck in. And extend out. Whew. Shake up those shoulders. One last round. Let's go back to our towel. Once again, underhand grip. So the pinky fingers are just outside of my thighs. Feet shoulder width apart, just a slight bend in the knees. So the knees should be soft, but not bending. Lift the chest, set your shoulder blades back. We're gonna keep that towel as close to the legs as we possibly can. Tension on, pulling outward. Here we go, let's slide down, press. The heels into the floor, push your chest out and back up. Slide the legs down, pushing the chest out, back up. Try to squeeze through the glutes and hamstrings by pressing the heels down into the floor. That's really going to lengthen through the legs. Tension on. Remember that outward tension. We've got to keep the shoulder blades engaged. Two more here. Squeeze. Back up. One left. Slide the towel down the front of the legs. Back up. Whew. Shake it out. We're going to take this back into our marching pec fly. So let's make that T. March it out. Palms are facing in. Here we go. Push and pull. 15 seconds on the clock here. Getting that heart rate up. Breathe. <sighs> Squeezing through that upper body. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> and shake it out. One last seated cat cow. And then we're going to stretch this out. Seated on the edge of your chair, feet, shoulder width apart, lift through the chest, place your fingertips just behind your ears, pull those elbows back, and let's curl in. And then exhale, lift and squeeze. Tuck in, exhale, inhale. You've got it, keep this going. Four to go, four, three, you can do this, two, one more here, one, and shake up those shoulders. We're going to take this into our stretches. We're going to start out with seated stretches here. Take your right leg, cross it over the left. And try to press your heel out so your toes are angling inward toward you. Lift your chest and then just slightly lean forward. This is really going to lengthen through the glute on that right leg. Try to push your chest out. The lean forward doesn't have to be too far. We're just leaning forward just slightly here, enough to lengthen through the glutes. Exhale. Now let's lower that leg down. Take it over to the other side. Cross the leg over. Try to press your heel out so you're angling your foot. Lift through the chest and then gently lean forward. Once again, lengthening through that glute, this time on the left side. Pushing your chest out here really helps to get that stretch without having to lean forward around the back. Inhale. Exhale. And come back out of it, place that foot down. From here, let's extend the right leg out so the heel is on the floor. Just a slight bend in the knee. From here, just roll forward. So from here, place your hand as far down as you feel comfortable getting that stretch in the hamstring. So right now, my hand is just on top of my mid shin, just below my knee. The goal here, again, is to push the chest out. That's really going to help to lengthen through that hamstring. Inhale, exhale, and slowly come out of it. Extend the other leg out, heel down, just a gentle bend in that knee, and then once again, slide forward. With the hamstring stretch, it varies greatly from person to person based on lower back and leg flexibility. So just go as far forward as you feel comfortable. You should feel that nice stretch in the hamstring but it should never feel like it's straining. It should always feel like a gentle to moderate stretch here. And 
inhale and come back up. Let's take this up to a standing position. From here, let's stretch out the chest. Clasp your hands behind. Roll your shoulder blades back so you're pulling your hands downward, opening up through that chest. Inhale, exhale. Try to relax as much as you can through that upper body. I know we're stretching the upper body so that can be a little bit challenging. Try to breathe evenly and let the shoulders drop down as much as you can. And let's shake it out. From here, we're gonna stretch out our sides, palms together and lift it up so the palms are toward the ceiling and then lean over, lengthening through the side of the body. Try to pull your arms back a little bit so they're a little bit closer to your ears rather than coming forward. Really lengthening through those upper back muscles and the shoulders. Nice big exhale. And take it over to the other side. Breathing through this. Make sure that you're not holding your breath at any point. Lengthening through those lats. Those are the big muscles on either side of the upper back. Exhale, and shake it out. From here, we're gonna take this into another stretch, but we're going to be using the back of the chair for balance. So holding onto your chair. From here, place your hand on your hip. Walk one foot forward, the other foot back, so we're in a nice wide stance, and then push your hip bones forward. From here, we're really lengthening through the hip flexor on that back leg. And this one, if you've been sitting at a desk all day, should feel pretty good for those hips. Breathing through this, once again, try to relax that upper body. And relax through the hips, bring that leg forward. Let's take it over to the other side. Walk that foot back, gentle bend in both knees, Lift that heel off the floor and then push the hip bones forward. Nice wide stance here, lengthening through that hip flexor. Shoulder blades back and down. <sighs> Breathing out. And gently lift up out of it. From here, one last move, a little bit of neck mobility. Let your arms hang down at your sides. Set your shoulder blades back. From here, turn your head. So you're looking over the right shoulder, back to the center, over the left shoulder, and center, exhale, inhale. Once again, if you've been sitting at a desk all day, this move is going to feel really good for the neck and shoulders. Breathing through this. Last two here, rotating. And one more. And back to center. Shake it out. We're all done for today. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.